What's up, guys? This is a twin flame reading for. Well, today is October 26th. I'm reading for the 27th, but it's not necessarily the day that it resonates. But to put the date to the reading, let's just say October 27th. I'm reading energies for people who would like to become one with their selves, to become one with their spiritual gifts, awaken and enlighten to their spiritual gifts and abilities and become one with their spirit and physical selves so that they may be one with a higher version of themselves. It's definitely a journey for some of us. It's been a, a spiritual journey intentionally. Um, but yeah, that's who I'm reading for. People who are high, vib high vibrational or aspire to be high vibrational beings and become one with their higher selves. Sometimes I get messages about, you know, the dualities of yourself. And sometimes I get messages about you and your partner on a, both on twin flame journeys to become one with your higher selves and to become one with each other. So I allow spirit to give the message that we need the most, that resonates with the most, and that can lead us to more light and more life. Um, so there you have it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, if you resonate with this reading, let me know. I definitely respond to comments. So thank you all for your likes, shares, comments, views, and subscriptions, all of it. Thank you. Laura Ganesh, Infinite Abundance. I got this in a reading earlier. Sometimes I, I want to do a reading on someone else and then I get a reading on myself. <laughs> so obstacles are being removed. Obstacles are being removed and spiritual support and connections are increasing. So this is a time of increase in power. For those of us that have been on our journeys for a while, like me and others who have been on our journeys, I believe this is a time of ascension. This is a time of increasing powers and in spirit and things are going to start coming together. It's starting to come together now. So we can expect obstacles to be removed and success and prosperity to come in. The elephant, the Ganesha, the elephant represents Lord Ganesha. Um, I believe it's Hindu or something. Um, but it's like when you need help or you need an obstacle to be removed, then you call upon Lord Ganesha. I believe I called upon Lord Ganesha one time. I really needed a job or something like that, and I got a job interview. Now, I didn't get the job. So I said, well, Lord Ganesh, or or I just prayed, like, well, the obstacle was removed because at first it was an obstacle that I couldn't even get an interview with the, this particular company. And then the obstacle was remo removed and I got the interview, but I did not get the job and I asked why. And then I was told that because I'm not a worker, I'm not supposed to be an employee and it's time for me to pursue entrepreneurship, which is hard because I manifested that. Um, in my book, Dream the Spiritual Pathway to Success, I talk about it, that I would go from the spiritual journey from a job to being a full-time entrepreneur and I would never, you know, be an employee again to someone else or, you know, I would never work a job again. So we have to be careful what we manifest or what we speak because that means, you know, if I needed a job between now and then, if I'm going through hard times, then it would be hard for me to get one because I manifested that I would go from working to entrepreneurship but anyways obstacles are being removed financial obstacles obstacles in a way of your journey obstacles in a way of you becoming one with yourself obstacles in a way of um any life obstacles that you may have are being removed oh yes see then we got holy amethyst amethyst divine alchemy move beyond current challenges focus on what you desire Again, more obstacles being removed, moving beyond the challenges that we're currently going through, entering a more divine place that our desires are being manifested. We have some trying to show themselves Quan Yin, which is Yin energy, uh, feminine energy. We have Soul Flame, rediscovering a lost part of yourself, experiencing healing and relationship harmony with your Yin and your Yang. And we have Supreme protection, being protected, and moving beyond limitations. These are just the ones I was trying to show myself. I'm not going to pull it. But yeah, we're recharging. We're, it's divine healing on the bottom. On the very bottom. Divine healing. Hilarion. 
um, using our light to support others, but being recharged so that we can be used as a vessel of light on earth. It's like our batteries being, these obstacles are draining our batteries. So now that these obstacles are being removed, we're, we're being recharged and filled again so that we can be used as a vessel of light for others. Then we have awakening presence on the top or the bottom. We call this the bottom of the deck, but you know, it's the top. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So I'll call this my cloak of protection. But it's like, you know, God is with you. El Morda is with you. Awakening presence is with you. You're awakening to your higher self. You're becoming one with um, the person you were created to be. You becoming one with you. You're yang, you're yang, balanced. Um, obstacles in a way of that being removed. So this is pretty cool. Um, I'm just so so many uses. I love that. Obstacles being removed, and I am excited about that because I've been going through it mentally because in turmoil and worry because of things happening. You know, starting my business and my money being tied up. But you know, I started this. I did a spell, a money spell, and it just made me realize something that I already knew. You know, these stores, they cast spells on us, you know, we're like under a spell. Everything that we see, most of a lot of things that we see and experience is a spell to get us to spend our money. So a lot of people do not have control over their money. It's like you, you're getting money just so you could just give it out to other people because your music that you're listening to is a spell. Going in the store, the way that it is organized, the, the customers, the, the, um, everything in the store is organized to get you to spend more than what you came in there to spend. So it's like we got the music telling us, we got advertisements and TV, we have all of these things influencing us, influencing us and our spending. And so it's like constantly scales, spells being casted upon your wallet. And so a lot of us have lost control or, you know, and I'm not going to say us because I'm gaining control. I've gained control. Uh, but people have lost control over the way that they're spending over their own money because they're constantly being spelled. They're constantly being hexed. They're constantly being cast spells to get them to spend their money. Advertisements is a spell. All of it is a spell. The music you listen to is a spell. Big Pharma and all songs. That's, that's spells. They cast all these spells to get you to influence you to do something. So people have lost control. So what the money spell did for me is make me aware of what's going on. I have a book. I'm writing about it um, right now. But it's like it opened my awareness because I was already told, you have money coming in. Your problem is not what's coming in. Your problem is something else. And my problem was the spells that were cast upon me and what I allowed, as soon as something touched my hand, it's going out because all of the things that, all of the spells that I allowed to be cast upon me, it's like, as soon as the money comes in, it's, it tells you to go spend. It's like an impulse to go spend or energy that makes you want to go spend when really you should be building and you should be saving. You should be protecting your pockets, protecting yourself, investing in your future and planning before you spend how you're going to spend it and why. So it's like now I have more control over my spending. I have more control over uh, my pockets. I have control over it. So when money comes in, it's not immediately going out anymore unless it's a part of the plan that I already have written that's protecting me, that's for my benefit, that adds value to me instead of me adding value and being stripped from what I have and putting myself, making myself vulnerable to make someone else rich. Like the Walmarts, like, like the McDonald's, like whatever it is that I was spending my money on. It's like whatever it is. This one time I even borrowed money just to pay a bill or something and end up not even paying it. So it's like now I've promised my future money to go to someone else because I borrowed to pay a bill, but I didn't even pay the bill. Now I have to pay the bill and I have to pay the loan. So it's like losing complete control over your pockets. But now that I have this insight, now that I know what's going on and I know how to control it, it's like gaining that clarity so that I can build and protect myself um, and teach others to do the same. I may have the book and the title. It will be done 
pretty soon. I'm excited about it. Um, it's crazy. But I'm really excited about this spell that I did. It really helped me. It did. It, I already knew that, but it solidified it. it. It put it in my mind. So it's like, listen, you know this information. I'm going to reiterate it to you. Confirmation. So now you can do something about it. Back to the twin flame reading. Sorry, guys. I always go off into tangents. Um, peace. Prince of Cups. So sometimes, um, and the Emperor. Sometimes I, um, when I get like a Prince of Cups from the Tote deck, sometimes I relate it to the Rider Weight as well because the message is sometimes when I pull from my Rider Weight influence deck, I related to the toke meaning so the deck i use is just the best one. so we have the emperor and we have the prince of cups so it's like my cup cup my ships my cups are coming in so this is offers offers coming in that put you in a better place so the emperor is solid. The emperor is stable. The emperor is masculine energy. So it's about your work and heart. And look how red this card is. It's like your work, your um, materials. So this is material offers. So whatever obstacle it was in the way of receiving materially before it's removed. And we have material office offers coming in. Ooh, we have a card that flipped over and I didn't notice. So we have a piece here. And peace and two of swords is about decision. But here it's more so about putting you at ease. making, Bringing you back to ease. Or bringing me back to ease. Like I just said, I've been in anxiety. I've been worried. But this is like offers coming in finally. Putting material blessings, bringing you prosperity like promised by Lord Ganesha, bringing you prosperity and helping you move beyond your current challenges financially and materially, bringing you to a solid foundation and putting you back at ease. What is this? The Empress. And it's related to the things that you've created. It's related to the things that we've created. So it's finally receiving the offers or finally receiving the abundance and the the fruit of your labor so it's labor that has already been done like if you've created like i have like five books it's like finally receiving the fruit of the labor of your creations things that you've created businesses talent services cups coming in because you've put in the labor you've put in the masculine energy required to create you missed your masculine and feminine energies and you've created things and now those obstacles that were in a way before are being removed putting you in a better place perhaps the obstacle was you know what i've been able to i've manifested quite a few things um for example i gotta sit this down and tell y'all because listen, this book that I'm writing, powerful. It's powerful. And I really need to share this information about these spells being cast upon our pockets, these spells being cast upon us, and how sometimes people lose control over their own money. Let me tell you a story. So I can manifest things. I'm very good at manifesting. And perhaps the obstacle that this reading is I'm um, talking about is for me. So... For example, I manifested 100% disability from the VA. I meant it from, you know, and I was very specific about that manifestation. And I knew that I was eligible for it. But, you know, the VA gets veterans a hard time for things that they should really be getting. So I, I spoke it into existence and I told Spirit what I wanted, prayed about it. Listen, I don't want to be hurt any further, but I want 100%, blah, 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 you know. So, anyway. Several things that I manifested within a time period, but I thought they were unrelated, but it all tied in together. I wanted my student loans to be paid off, and I didn't want to pay. I didn't want to pay anymore. I think I paid like $60 out of 106000 in student loans, and it manifested. I didn't pay anymore. I put the deferment in, and in the meantime, while it was manifested, I forgot about it. And a year later, I was told I was eligible for it, and it was related to... Um, the, the other manifestation with the VA that I manifested. So it's like all of this manifesting for me and which are blessings. 
So I know how to manifest and I also receive financial blessings connected to that as well. But as soon as the money came in, 30,000 30, comes in, gone within a week or two. 30, another 30,000, like a little under 30,000 come in, gone within a week or two. It's like spirit is not, so it's like being blessed and abundant and able to manifest things, but not having control. So it, it, it can almost feel like you're not blessed or it can almost feel like you're not getting enough coming in or it feels lack, but you're not in lack, you're abundant. You can manifest anything, but you don't have control. So the obstacle could have been Ashley needs to gain control. So before I manifest or bless her with another $100,000, she needs to learn control or she needs to learn how to build. She needs to learn how to gain control over her own money. She's not in control. So if we bless her, and, and I'm just speaking in spirit, like what what could have been in spirit. So if we bless Ashley with this hundred, she's not really going to be blessed by it because the people that she gives her money to, as soon as she gets it in her pocket, those are going to be the people that are blessed by this hundred thousand. I'm not trying to bless them, so I'm not going to bless her. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like the obstacle could be removed because finally... I can bless Ashley now because she's aware. She's in control over her vessel. She's in control over her pockets. So now she broke the spell, the money spell against her. She broke the spell of a lack of control over her own money. And therefore, now if we bless Ashley, we can bless her and her family. It's going to be, it's going to bless and add and build her instead of, tearing her apart instead of blessing these other people. So perhaps the obstacles, of course, is divine timing. But perhaps the obstacles are removed now because now you have control over yourself. Now you have control over your spending. Now you have control. And so now by spirit blessing you, you are a light to others. You can prove, you can through your life that you're a light to others and you can bring other people to light versus darkness versus not operating the way that you should be being enslaved basically versus being blessed but can't control yourself so instead you allow the opposition to steal your blessings so now that you're not letting the opposition steal your blessings, we can bless you. Because now you're being built up and you're a vessel of being of light to others. This is awesome. That, that is an obstacle being removed. Realizing and awakening to your bondage or how you're being used and controlled by the opposition is an obstacle being removed. So financial obstacles being removed now I can bless you financially. Material obstacles being removed, now I can bless you materially because now you have control. Can't wait to get this book to you guys. It's the financial book. This will be my first book on money. I have books on spirituality. I have books on women empowerment. I have books on um, business. I have books on um, uh, inspiration and now this is going to be a look on money Where did it go? so the moon hmm. sorry guys I dropped this so we have the moon and we have um, the priestess both of these are intuition so it's like awakening it's like being awakened. Um, I got the ascent ascension card early too. It's like find extending, ascending, enlightening, awakening, increasing in spirit, increasing in insight, increasing in knowledge and wisdom, spiritual knowledge and wisdom, being intuitively 
enhanced or just simply becoming one because you got yin it's like becoming one um, with yourself with your spiritual self and experiencing increase because of it awaken finally and then you have the hermit right under there the light becoming one with the light Coming one with the light. That's three trump cards. Three major arcanas. Back to back to back. All about light. All about enlightenment. It's time to be light. That's what being a vessel of God on earth of God on earth is about. It's about light. Being light to others. Awakening others. Removing those spells, removing those scales, removing it, awakening, you know, removing those third eye scales, and finally waking people up who are zombies, the walking dead, waking them up and, and bringing them to life, bringing people back to life. Let me pull a little bit more. We're already 21 minutes in, so I won't keep a lot of your time, but I'm telling you, I created a master manifesto cheat sheet as well, so if you guys want to learn how I manifested all of those things, I just manifested a nice home, you know, I'm very blessed um, to be able to have this knowledge. I shared it with you. It's on my website, ashleygillard.com, A-S-H-L-E-Y-G-Y-L-L-A-R-D. Dot com. Check it out. Somebody got it today. She's so happy. I can't wait to see what she manifests. But hopefully, whatever it is, she can control it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so we have the star on the bottom another major arcana we have under there we have eight of swords and this is perfect this is perfect so we have again i just talked about being a vessel of light on earth with a star card freeing other people you're the light is about freedom so when you are, i was just talking to um some women in my social group um in this group that i uh, called for pop socialites um but anyway we were just talking about like being a star or whatever and it's like i've never thought of myself as a star or i've never aspired to be like a celebrity um because i don't i you know i never wanted to be like an actor or actress or you know or in the arts i didn't know that i would be a writer and stuff like that but anyway um being light you kind of have, in order to lead others to light, in order to free people, you have to have a following. So it comes with the territory, star, stardom, um, recognition, being in the spotlight comes with the territory of freeing people. Because you want to free as many people as possible. I mean, if you're just freeing people in your home, you don't require a level of spotlight for that. But when you're freeing people on a mass national, on a mass level, geographic level, um, and a nation level, then stardom is a part of that. So it's like receiving recognition and fame and a following. Why? Because you are to lead people to light. We just talked about light right here. So we know the purpose is freedom. We know the purpose is light. We know we're removing scales. That's what the twin flame journey does for you. It removes these scales. Third eye scales, insight. We're getting insight and we're leading others to insight so that we can all be free. Then we have the devil and oppression. This is why. This is why. People are oppressed. People are in control. What I just talked about with the money thing coming in and right out, that's demonic. That is demonic. These people have demonic control over your pockets, demonic control over your vessel because you're not aware. 
because of the, you're not because some people are not enlightened because they don't see the light they don't see the light it's scales here they walk around like this but they don't know they're in darkness and they don't know they don't see the light and and i'm not saying in darkness because darkness is good the moon is darkness but it's like seeking the light through going through the dark to seek the light but that's not the type of darkness i'm talking about people are unaware that they are oppressed they're unaware of this demonic control when i was spinning 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 unaware unaware now and i'm on a spiritual journey of enlightenment seeking the light seeking more life but getting it stolen from me by the opposition and not knowing who, where, when, where, and what, not knowing that's happening. And I was getting the seven of swords in a lot of my readings and stealing from you, stealing from you. I'm like, who is stealing from me? The opposition is stealing from you. The opposition, the devil, the opposition, energetic forces. Soon as the money comes in, soon as the blessings come in, they go out. That's stealing from you. Because sometimes it don't even be things that we need, things that we plan. Overspending, lack of control is oppression and it's demonic. Lack of control of your money, lack of control of your emotions, lack of control of your spirit. It's demonic. I don't want to go here, but I will. Like in Christianity, teaching people that our gifts, our ancestral, teaching us that our ancestors are dead. And, and not teaching them that they're available to us in spirit, that they're with us, that they're protecting us, that they haven't let, left us. They, they teach us they, they're gone somewhere, heaven or hell. They don't teach us that our ancestors transcend to spirit in the fullness, but they're still with us. They, they're in our, they speak with us in our dreams. They lead us, they guide us, they protect us. That's demonic. That's, a, that's spiritual oppression. Teaching us that our gifts of being able to read cards, being able to connect spiritually and prophesy. This is prophecy. This is the gift of prophecy and insight. This insight we have is from God, is divine, is divine feminine. But teaching us that it's evil, stealing our spiritual, stealing your control over your spirit. That's a way to steal control over your spirit. So we have to get away from religions that are stealing our gifts from us, stealing insight from us to keep us oppressed, materially stealing from us because soon as something comes in, it goes out financially. That's called material oppression, emotional oppression, not having control over your emotions. And then these, these, they use those, that lack of control to control you. So... A lot of these things happening in the world is to control and trigger your emotions to do something evil. So this is the oppression, demonic oppression, materially, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And we know physical oppression is, as soon as you do that, you're jailed. As soon as you cannot control your emotions and they get you to not control over your emotions and do something, they put you in jail. So... What is enlightenment about? What is the light about? Leading people to light. Leading people to freedom. Leading people and removing them from bondage. First, you got to do it for yourself, though. And that's what the Twin Flame journey is about. Removing the bondage. Freeing people from oppression and demonic control. But first, starting with yourself. And your loved ones. And expanding that to the world. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing. I commend you for even taking this journey. And I commend you for watching this entire video. Some people won't even watch it. Scales. Remove them. Time to remove the scales. It's time. It's time. All right, guys. I wish you love, light, and more life. Peace. Visit AshleyGillard.com to order your Master Manifesto Cheat Sheet.